So I am Kes Varup, Chartered Accountant. I have my own firm based in Chennai, and we have other three uh, branches across India. We are basically a Chartered Accountant firm. Our basic work or things would be is uh, auditing the balance sheets or financial statements of companies uh, or small uh, businesses or w- wherever the money is, where uh, everyone expects for a verification. from a trusted person like for a medical checkup how doctor is we are for the uh, financial health in the industry in india the financial health is taken care by chartered accountants i completed my chartered accountancy in 2013 joined this firm shrivats and v associates as partner in 2015 there is no specific college university or anything to become a chartered accountant in india there is only one institute called institute of chartered accountants of india where a 10th passed out can register himself on clearing plus 2 he can give his foundation which is a four subject uh, for 100 marks each of which one would be max one would be a basic law english as well as accountancy and uh, compared to all other uh, professional courses or so this course is a very budget friendly say for 4 4 and a half years till uh, by when you are pursuing this course you will hardly spend a lakh or two maximum however once you complete or you are halfway through your course you are required to do a mandatory 2 and a half year article ship during which most of your money is also getting recovered moreover uh, with uh, the beauty of this course is compared to any other professional degree here you will get a practical exposure of whatever it can be okay is chartered accountancy only a number or something of that sort no i can name you some chartered accountants who consumed the knowledge but implemented it in several different ways and uh, uh, what to say came up very much high up the ladder say example uh, mr t n manoharan uh, everyone would have known uh, the satyam saga okay he was one of the person who made the uh, merger or take over of satyam to mahendra tech mahendra uh, he was one of the key instrumental person okay name any business for uh, that matter a ca can be a brain or where he can understand both business as well as number very lucidly so when you wanted to do your business perfectly or when you wanted to do it innovatively okay on the financial side or the uh, uh, legal side if you have a knowledge of ca it comes handy to you okay what made me do Okay, though I have my firm in Chennai, I am from a rural area called Kupam, which is based out of Andhra Pradesh. Okay, um, so I, when I wanted to do anything other than engineering or medical, some uh, persons uh, or some people way back in two thousand nine gave us small information about this, and what was very catchy to me was it everyone was mentioning it is tough. okay so i wanted to see how tough it is or will i be able to uh, crack this luckily or unluckily by 2013 i cleared it from there on there is no looking back uh, as a chartered accountant is balance sheet signing only the uh, interesting part here and no there are several very uh, several verticals who has made their name in those verticals say for example audit is one such forensic accounting is one such and i know certain chartered accountants who have developed a robot process robotic process automation with their accounting knowledge with some technical software knowledge one can practice in direct access one can practice in indirect tax one can tra- indirect tax is nothing but your gst one can practice mostly into fema that is whenever foreign exchange comes into india outside uh, goes outside india or you wanted to invest outside india fema is the major uh, major law where you have to uh, uh, comply there are practices in such okay these 
this all comes under a major umbrella called practice no i don't want to practice is almost like a business where you get customers you earn money you can feed your family however i am not such a business uh, uh, such a risk taking person do i have any other option here yes i can go for an employment okay generally all indian based customers or indian based companies prefer a ca to head the role of uh, cfos or to head the role of chief uh, financial controller or accounts manager all these places uh, a ca would come handy even in banks uh, i can name uh, two to three uh, chairmen of scheduled bank as well as the uh, privatized private sector bank where uh, cas are heading the uh, organization uh, uh, very successfully so both as a business or a practice you can be a chartered accountant and in employment also you can be a, a chartered accountant and chartered accountant is one such profession where you have to up- update yourself on a regular basis as and when there is a new budget in india you have to be learning it as and when there is a accounting standard change you have to be learning it the moment you stop your learning you become outdated naturally the business will go out from your business or you will be ousted out from your employment okay are there okay i am now like uh, between 2023 to 22 it's almost 9 years where am i looking myself in next few years now that i have consumed more knowledge on my technical side which is my accounting my ac- Uh, accounting standards my direct tax laws indirect tax laws what more i wanted to do okay i am trying to learn certain uh, basic skills which is related to data analytics or uh, there are certain uh, programming languages very easy so that i can implement in my own organization so that it automates both the people's work as well as i can reduce the um, errors that can occur why do i have to do it uh, everyone knows now uh, the automation is the charm i am not doing it with the increasing number of compliances i might not again cope, cope up in the business uh, business arena okay coming back to if i am a fresher what would be my base salary now uh, you go for an employment you can easily uh, get somewhere between 7 to 10 uh, lakhs per annum and you wanted to do a prac- uh, uh, employment in a firm one such firm like stewards and associates or there are big fours like deloitte pwc kpmg and uh, even da consulting is there you wanted to join them as a chartered accountant there the minimum salary ranges between 6 to 8 lakhs no you wanted to do your own practice based on your networking how many of our clients you are uh, getting those many number of uh, uh, those much income you can make an average chartered accountant with 5 years of uh, experience will easily get 20 to 24 lakhs per annum which is an average it's neither a very below salary or the uh, one of the salary which i am mentioning a decent person with a 5 years experience and uh, 5 years of base technical knowledge which you have he, he should have he can easily earn between 20 to 24 lakhs per annum so a chartered accountant is like whether you are you wanted to pick a government job or not you wanted to be in a private job or not i don't see any ca till now without a job so there is a job uh, what to say safety inherent in this okay even 20 years from now the competition might be stiff but a person completing ca and not having job can never happen however i have a lot of experience but i am not updating myself eventually uh, i'll have to fade out of the uh, business uh, scenario coming to growth till money is there the scope for ca is always there